Hi, I'm District 5020 Governor Mo Fritz Roberts and I'm here to talk about August being membership month. And that's startling to me because I think every single month is membership month because membership is the single most important thing in Rotary. Together we get things done. We build playgrounds and water parks. We have the courage to eradicate polio. We change lives. That takes a lot of people. And if we're going to continue to be a vibrant, vital part of our community, we need to welcome more people into Rotary. To help us, I called on District Membership Chair, Corey Lapardi for advice. Corey, in business, we must consider what our unique selling proposition is. What do you think Rotary offers to its members that other service organizations may not? What makes Rotary unique? So Rotary offers a unique set of benefits that aren't available to people that belong to other organizations. There's personal and professional development, there's community service, there's family involvement, there's meaningful long-term relationships, there's networking, and you just don't get that all in one place when you belong to another organization. On top of that, with all the clubs across the world, you're a part of those clubs, you're a part of that whole process, and you can visit anytime you want without paying an extra fee, you don't have to join another group, uh, it's all part of being a Rotarian and all part of being in Rotary. Corey, you've been exceptionally successful as our district membership chair. This is the largest district of the Western Hemisphere and one of the few that is actually growing its membership numbers. What do you think have been the most useful tips that you could share with clubs that you have seen make this growth happen? I don't think we could have accomplished anything we've accomplished as a district in the last couple of years without all the effort of the members of the membership committee as well as all 91 presidents working towards their membership goals. Uh, I think membership growth happens when we're focused on putting the needs of the community and our club members first. As far as tips go, uh, I have some. I have tips for the clubs. I think clubs need to have a membership plan. They need to work that plan. They need to have a, a champion in their club that's willing to take membership on and really push it forward. And then as a district, I think what we need to do is what we have been doing, and that is to create satellite clubs and to create new clubs because I don't think growth at the district level happens unless we create new clubs. Corey, you've been instrumental in helping clubs get started. What is the advantage to an existing Rotary Club in starting up a satellite club or chartering a new club? You know, too often a community that's had a club for a long time starts to see Rotary only through the lens of that one Rotary Club. I think the Rotary members of that club start to see Rotary through that same lens as well. It's kind of like a farmer trying to grow the same crop on a piece of land over and over again. Eventually that land becomes infertile and uh, crops don't grow as well. With Rotary, we would have to start new clubs and start new satellites in order to offer communities and members new opportunities in Rotary, new opportunities to do service and be a part of what Rotary is. Just like growing crops, when we rotate rotary, we rotate the crops on a field, we get a better harvest, we get a better yield. That means more service, more giving to the foundation, more Rotarians. I know I would rather see a community that had four 30-member rotary clubs than only one club that was declining in membership. Wouldn't you? Thank you, Corey. Thank you for making District 5020 one of the leaders in growing Rotary around the world. I ask each of you to think back to when you joined Rotary. Was it because somebody invited you and you just wanted to pop in and check it out? Was it because you saw the work that Rotarians were doing and you wanted to be counted among them? Or was it just because it was great fun to hang out with people who had the same service above self attitude as you? Each of you has the power to grow Rotary by asking somebody to join. In many ways, the future of your community depends on having a vibrant, effective Rotary Club. And your Rotary Club depends on you. So take the month of August to do the single most important thing in Rotary, focus on membership.